Let's go ahead and classify analytics tools based off of the combination of price and features. You'll be surprised they're not always correlated with how they work. Some companies don't even want to give you the price. Not a fan of that. But we're going to talk through some of the major competitors, how they work, the core functionalities, what we've seen as an implementer of these softwares, as well as what we've seen with our customers and how they do and don't like them. Without any further ado, my name is JJ Reynolds, founder of Revision Labs, and we help teams activate their data, turning a data into profit so that they can go on and crush their goals. Here is the example we're going to use. A two $200 a month product. They have 50 monthly active users, 5 million events per month. This is probably a pretty healthy, uh, this list right here might be a little bit low depending on whether we're including monthly active users included in marketing. Uh, so we're going to basically look at this from a marketing and product analytics standpoint. Let's look at Google Analytics first, right? With Google Analytics, you would have be in their free plan because you're only sending 5 million events per month. So we will put you in here and your price is going to be free, right? And then you're going to be all the way down here on the right with some things, right? There's Google Analytics is great as a free tool. It is phenomenal as a free tool. It allows you to answer the majority of your marketing related questions. But the second that you talk about product, it becomes more complicated because you have to use user IDs and events and figure out all these other pieces. They don't do heat maps or session recording. So you'd have to either use another tool in combination with it or do something else. So we're gonna put it down here as it does some things pretty well. The price is relatively low. Let's next look at Heap. Heap, I've got a bone to pick because they do not allow you to look at pricing uh, publicly. I will say most people that we've worked with are in the realm of like the $2,000 per month type of structure, just bigger examples there. Sometimes with less, like I think the average on according to chat GPT here is like five grand a year. Who knows if that's correct? Um, and so I don't really have a lot of data on that because we've only implemented this with an R client base. Uh, so I can't speak to their pricing because it's so uh, not public. Let's just pull up their pricing really quickly. So on, if you go to heap.com, io forward slash pricing you'll see here there's this free you get six months of data history you get 12 months on pro and then you kind of go from there so there are a few things that you don't really like get access to here so in these growth and pro add-ons like the heat maps and session replays are add-ons they could be a build per event there but there is this engagement matrix and then account based analytics which is the group based in post hog and then that's i believe called account based also inside of amplitude uh, you'll see here all these different features that you don't really know exactly what you get um, when you are signing up for their pricing. I just know the pricing in general. I know what their product is. Uh, so we're going to put them up here. So Heap as a pricing, they're kind of on the higher end and they do have features, but they do gate a lot of the features, either not with their basic plans or there. Then we want to look at full story. So full story, on the other hand, is basically built just for in products. I don't think there's any marketing things. They're, everyone's trying to become the same thing. So we're going to keep this down here at some things and then their price is higher, right? So full story, if you don't know, it tracks uh, all the clicks, network requests, etc for your product. People that in my experience will like it that are devs because you can see all the logs in it. It's a recording tool. I don't know how else to say that. It does what it does uh, and it records them. I wouldn't say like if if I was a Clarity, if I was a, I was a full story fiend, I would just try to look at Microsoft Clarity because from what I understand, it does the majority of the same things. Uh, I might not be the biggest full story fan here. I know people swear by it. If you are full story and want to give me an account to play around with, uh, let me know. My apologies. Uh, next, we have a mixed panel. So let me show you uh, mixed panels pricing here. Uh, they have a really cool uh, kind of method on how they do this. So they are uh, they get points here for having this growth estimator. So uh, per events per month. So let's just put us up at this kind of, I don't know, 5 million events per month, 600 bucks. That's not very bad uh, at all. For reference, GA360 is like 30 million events uh, and that kicks in at $4,500 a month. So if you were up here, I think they're gonna kick you to enterprise. So it doesn't really allow you to do that, but it's probably about the same price, just a tiered system as opposed to Google Analytics, which kicks you into that plan from zero to like $4,200 per month uh, there. So here, if we look at these uh, examples down here, we're looking at that kind of realm. Uh, let's just do 5 million here, uh, 600, or let's just call it 650 per month. 
when you look at their actual platform, they do have a lot of things. They do have the web analytics. They do have the product analytics. They do have a lot of these pieces. Their integrations aren't my personal favorite and how they work, uh, but it does allow you to pull everything together in one location and give you that mixed panel. Uh, like I think they do almost everything. Uh, the one thing I don't, sh I'm not sure if they do or do not do. Uh, let me check in here is I don't believe that they do any type of session recordings or heat maps. So you might have to blend that in with something else. I don't believe they do. So we're gonna put mixed panel uh, into pricing. They are probably, they're cheaper than heap and there. And then they, uh, but they are expensive ish, give or take. Uh, and we'll put them right there. Next, we have our good old friends, Amplitude. Amplitude has also the pricing. So here we'll do our uh, 5k a month, they're also at 124. So the difference here, Amplitude uh, is, Amplitude does uh, kind of change what the definition is of their uh, kind of monthly uh, active users. The MTUs is uh, 5k per month, right? If we were up at 50k here, so we're probably about the same price, honestly, because these guys do the monthly tracked users, uh, whereas the last one was events. So a benefit here is they don't really care what, how many events you send in per each user, uh, unless I'm sure you hit uh, some type of crazy outlier. But there you are, is a, again, same price, and their uh, solutions are pretty much the same. Like, I'm not lying to you. Uh, it is more or less the exact same function. So I'm going to put Amplitude right here with over Mixed Panel. We're going to put them together. So imagine them at the same time. Point. Next thing we do have post hog. So here is post hogs. My function, my pitch on post hog is that they do have the most transparent pricing, but that does breed complexity. They also have access to all of the features. They just make it more complicated because every feature is billed independently. Uh, let me show you on their pricing calculator uh, here, how this looks in actual like application, right? So this idea of product analytics, which are identified events. So if you had 1 million uh, events that came in from those tracked users. Again, it doesn't really, it's really hard to just estimate here. And then we, let's just say we had also uh, 10 million events, or I think we're saying uh, 5 million events here per month uh, of analytics uh, on the website. You then can decide on if you would like to add in other types of events, right? So we have group analytics, we have these data pipelines, we have all of these other pieces as well as session replays. You get 5,000 session recordings per month for free. And so you can decide when you'd like to use them. Um, same thing for feature flags, same thing for data warehousing. Like they give you 1 million rows of just about everything for free. And then from there, it starts costing you money. It's usually on the cheaper end. I don't think we've ever seen post hub be more expensive. So then the other tools, I'm gonna put it down here as in it does have uh, more features than Heap does because you can enable them, but it also is a lot cheaper. So I'm gonna put this down here. At the end of the day, folks, there is also this layer of enterprise versus non-enterprise functionality and then who the target customer is. I will say that the Heap, Mixed Panels, and Amplitudes all kind of go after that same marketing slash uh, non-technical marketer or non-technical product person, whereas PostHog uh, unabashedly goes for that technical person and so does Full Story, in my personal opinion. They go towards that. So we kind of have these kind of four corners here. Is it like, if you want a price, a higher price with higher specifications around that dev uh, recordings, full story. If you want to do some things and have no cost, that's Google Analytics. If you want the ability to do everything and the cost to be low, but you might spend more time on your actual implementation, you've got post hog. And then you have with uh, a lot of the features and a lot of the price is gonna be heap. That is my like loose categorizations here. And then mixed panel and amplitude are almost like direct competitors in my personal opinion. Again, if anybody here uh, has a different opinion, let me know. And then they are pretty much dead center, right? They have most things that you need. Their cost is not exuberant unless you have a wild like application. Um, and then you are gonna be paying more or less in the middle of the road of there. So that is my quick categorization based off of what we've just kind of thrown out there. If anybody has any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below, or you can email us, uh, find our emails, or you can submit a contact form at visionlabs.com forward slash contact.